Hi. Hi, Ali. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Elena. Hello, hello, girls. Hello. How are you? Very good, and you? I'm okay. How was your day today? Well, planning the Father's Day. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Ah, tomorrow's Father's Day, eh? Yes. Suddenly, I, I have lost track of time because of the quarantine. <laughs> yes. Right now, we don't know if it's Monday. Yeah, no kidding. Tuesday or what. <laughs> Yeah, there was a moment that we were not teaching online because they were getting everything ready. And I was like, every day felt like a Sunday. It was like, oh my <laughs> goodness, I felt like lost. But then when we started teaching, like it, like the days I thought they gave me the, the guidance I needed. So, <laughs> Right. So are you working, Elena, home office or you went back to work today? No, it's still home office. All right, that's good. All right, I think that's safer. Very good. All right. So, Freddy, hi. Hi, Miss. How, How are, are you? you today? Uh, well, it was a good day. It was a good day. All right. Yeah, a busy, busy day. <laughs> okay. All right. I see. Hi, Brenda. How was your day today, Brenda? Busy with meetings? Hi, teacher. Yeah, every day is the same. <laughs> every day, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Arely, hello, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Good. And you? I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, very good. And Astrid, how was your day, Astrid? Hello, teacher, I was fine. Thanks. All right, very good, good. All right, uh, girls, Freddy doesn't like, I think you don't come to San Salvador, Freddy, much do you, to for work? No, right? No. Okay, what about the girls? Like, have you, like, did you guys go like outside today? Did you see the traffic that there was outside or not really? Not really, but people said it was like a normal day. <laughs> That's what I heard too. Yeah, I didn't go out myself either. I've been here all day, but that's what I heard like a lot of traffic and everything. So I guess everybody's out. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's going to be difficult now, huh? So if we really don't have to get out, let's keep safe inside. That's what I believe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, people are saying that the worst is yet to come, so we need to get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Okay, guys. Hi, Robert. Hello. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Working really hard, but well, that's good. That keeps you out of trouble, Robert. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. All right. You still manage. Very good. All right. Nice to have you in class. All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, we were working with. We began with section three about speaking. All right, and we were talking about some features that we would need to improve or to keep on working in, in order for us to get better as like speaking, all right? So yesterday we were talking about pronunciation and some features that are within pronunciation. So yesterday I told you that we wanted to, I wanted to work yesterday and today related to that topic with pronunciation and that we were going to keep on using the PPT I sent to the WhatsApp group yesterday. So there's nothing new, it's the same one. Yesterday for Elena that was not with us because she had um, other things to do. Uh, we did not, of course, we did not finish the PPT. We weren't like over the theory and talking and, and sharing some questions that some of you guys had and everything. So what we did yesterday was the first activity within the PPT, which was this one right here. This was the one that we were able to do. And the idea was, guys, just to remind you, the idea was for you to read it in your groups out loud, not for every, I mean, not only for your classmates to listen to you, but also for you to recognize if you had any difficulty pronouncing any of the words within the text, okay? So sometimes uh, if, if you read it like silently, it's not the same as if you read it out loud, all right? Because in a way you kind of like think or here that you're reading it correctly but you don't really know what's going on right so that's why the idea of reading 
sharing the, um, the reading with you guys. The homework that I assigned yesterday, because most of you were able to finish reading this passage, was to answer these questions. All right, and it said, answer the questions about your performance in exercise P1. P1 was this, the first lecture. Which individual sounds were difficult to pronounce? Remember the individual sounds? We refer to what, guys? Do you remember what individual sounds are? Anybody? Individual sounds that we saw yesterday? No? Oh, my goodness. All right, we were talking individual sounds. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Individual vowels. So Very good. Thank you, Brendita. All right, vowels. The combination of vowels. That's yeah. right. Vowels, yes. We talk about vowels, combination of vowels, consonants, and consonant clusters. All right? So when you read this uh, passage, one of maybe one of the difficulty that you had was some of the individual sounds. So the vowels, com uh, combination of vowels and everything, all right? Uh, that goes with the second question where it says, which combination of sounds were difficult to pronounce? Remember the one thing is to see the vowel by itself and another different issue is to have it in a combination of sounds, all right? And then we kind of like get stuck on it, right? The other question was, which individual words were difficult to pronounce and why? So maybe, I don't know, uh, we can choose one handrails, for him, for example, handrails or uh, vertical or stairways or something like that. Remember that for me, when I read, some of the words may be easier for me than for Freddy, for example. Everybody's like an individual here. So we have difficulties, like very personal difficulties, all right? I might know the pronunciation of a word, but maybe Rodrigo doesn't, or maybe Brenda doesn't, or by just coincidence, we share the same word with Brenda, all right? So that's why it's a very good idea to share the readings in your groups, because then Brenda, if I miss uh, pronounce the word, Brenda can say, Jessica, I think that the pronunciation of the word is this, all right? And then it's, oh, okay, all right, so we can work it out somehow, okay? And the question number four was, are there any patterns of pronunciation difficult? I mean, I, like, do you have any like difficulty with the uh, patterns of pronunciation? So, um, Brenda, I don't know if you were able to finish these questions yesterday or not really? Yes. Okay, okay. Can you share with us if you had any individual sounds like were difficult for you to pronounce or you feel that they were okay? I felt that one of the most difficult and maybe confusing was I and A together. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, right. Uh -huh. Diagonal. Uh, all right. Something like that. And then it was um, E and I together. Right. It was in height. Okay, all right, yes. Okay, very good. All right, what about... Um, individual words that you had like trouble with yesterday or if you read it today did you have any individual words that you said mm, i wasn't really sure about it uh yeah height was one okay <laughs> yeah uh come comfortably okay all right and uh let me see the other one Diagonal sawtooth. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Confused. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Brenda. What about Freddy? Freddy, did you were you able to answer any of these questions from yesterday? Yes. Okay. So can you share with us some of them? Well, for example, in the question number one, I have. Uh, well, I'm confusing with vowel uh, e. Okay. Yeah, uh, because. I don't know, uh, sometimes I think that it's uh, like ice. Okay, all right. And other is like E in Spanish. <laughs> right, like E. <laughs> all uh -huh. right, uh -huh. mm -hmm. all right, okay. All so, right. And sometimes it's the same for uh, with letter A, with okay. vowel A. Right. Because yeah. it has a lot of uh, kind Different of Different sounds, yes, of, co of oh. course, yeah, okay. Good, all right, very good. Um, let me see. Uh, Nidia, what about in your case? Were you, hi Nidia. Uh, were you able to uh, answer any of these questions, uh, Nidia? And can you share with us some of your answers? 
Uh, no, I, I really didn't. Okay, that's okay. All right, don't worry about it. Robert, in your case, what about you? Were you able to do any or not? Well, unfortunately, no so far. Okay, that's But I think that, uh -huh. that, that the, um, most likely the combination of power with consonant, it's the most difficult yeah, thing to pronounce. Probably. All right, okay. All right, usually, I'm not saying that for all of you or most of you, but what is difficult for us to pronounce are the past tenses of regular verbs, okay? Those are very, very difficult. It would be very nice if everything would finish like, I don't know, dance end, step end, or stop end, all right? That would be perfect, but that's not reality, right? So you need to work if you feel at this point in time, guys, I think you, um, everybody should know what your weaknesses are. And I have uh, noticed in some of your, your cases, not all of you, of course, you do have still some difficulties with the ED endings of the uh, past tenses. So if you identify that, that that is one of the tenses, you should work on it, all right? Because it's very, like, it, it really tells a lot about your English if you keep on struggling at this level with those kind of pronunciations. Suddenly you see a strange word or a very long word, and of course we're going to hesitate, you know, but that's okay. But words like, I don't know, like verbs that are to this point easy, perhaps, you should know how to pronounce. And even if they are not so common, but if you know the rules of the ED ending pronunciation, you wouldn't like have a problem with it, although it's a new verb for you, all right? So make sure that you keep on working on pronunciation. As I said yesterday, we never stop. All right, so it's a very, it's a constant learning. All right, so uh, one of the ways to keep on like practicing and, and like getting better at it is watching movies, talking to native speakers. If you have friends that are native speakers or maybe someone that speaks a little bit more than you, a nice opportunity if you guys can have that. All right, so we're gonna go on with this one. You have the presentation since yesterday. All right, so I'm just gonna read the instructions and I'm gonna tell you what I want you to do. For this one, it says analyzing each, uh, I'm sorry, analyzing speech patterns. I was reading each uh, speech patterns, okay? So here it says, read the passage. This is what I want you to do. And I do, wanna, I do want you to follow the instructions. I will send you to your teams anyway, to your groups. But the first activity that I want you to do is read the passage silently as you listen. So what I want you to do is play the audio and follow the reading. Don't say anything, just follow the reading as you're listening to it. Then answer the questions below or on the other slide about the, about the uh, each pa uh, speech pattern you hear in the passage. Listen to the passage as many times as necessary to answer the questions. Now, the uh, listening that you're going to is this one, the one that is right here written since the seventh century, blah, 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 right? So that's the same passage that you're gonna read and th that you're gonna listen to, listen to, hold on, I just put it, that you're gonna listen to and, and read it at the same time, okay? Then you have to, guys, answer these questions right, right here. What words or parts of words did the speaker stress? And that's when I want you to work with your peers, with your classmates, okay? Once you, you're gonna listen to it once and you're gonna keep quiet as you listen and as you read silently. As soon as you finish, because the, the audio will stop, I want you to switch to this slide right here. And together, if I'm working with Nidia, we're gonna say, okay, Nidia, what words or parts of words did the speaker stress? All right, now, that's where it says you can listen to the audio as many times as you want to be or as you need to because I want you to actually answer all those six questions, okay? So the other question would say, how did I know or how did you know when the speaker completed a sentence? Remember that goes back to the intonation, going up, I mean going up or going down, all right? The other one, when did I hear the speaker Raise his uh, voice, all right? Raise his voice, number four. And you're gonna keep on working until you get to number six, together with Nidia or the person that you're working with. Then guys, you will move on. Uh, hold on. You will move on to this one right here. Okay, that is indicating, did I have a mix up? No, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one here. 
I want you to read the explanation here, all right? And then I want you to listen again to the passage. It's the same one, but I, I have it, I put it here anyway. And I want you to read it again, all right? And indicate the speech patterns using the methods above, all right? So kind of like, um, because you cannot really go, I mean, if you can make the arrows going up and down, that's good, and that, that's very good. But if you can't, just write it like going down intonation, going up, just write the words that you think are going up and down and then you share the same thing with your classmate let's see together we're going to discuss either it went up or down and then this one is interesting here again you have the same listening guys but it's it's being said by three different people with three different accents okay one from them is uh, one accent is united kingdom the other one is united states and the other one is the australian accent okay they are telling you exactly the same thing they are reading actually this passage this is the 17th uh, 7th century blah 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 is the same passage said by three different people with three different accents see which one is more difficult for you to understand and answer the questions so you have the rest of the class and probably won't be enough for you to work on those three activities all right do you have questions the listenings are right there you have it since yesterday so i don't think you would have a problem in my help let me know okay do you understand what you're doing just read the instructions if you if i lost you somewhere okay I do want you to work with your peers, all right? Like sharing and discussing and everything, okay? Got it? Yes? Yeah, all right, yeah. okay. Let's go then, guys. One group is going to have... Whoa, no. One group is going to have... No, 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 forget it. My, someone else came in. Oh, no, okay, well, you're working in pairs. All right. <laughs> There you go, guys. Hi, Freddy. ¿Y cuál pantalón?
-hmm. Okay. After a period, and he begins a sentence. Yes. Yeah. Okay.
higher ali higher ali hello hi did you just get in no because i uh, you were in I, class right oh you were with robert and manuel yep okay okay check if you have received the invitation again no yet no hello no yet nothing i haven't received anything all right let me let me move you back and then i'll move you again all right so i'll okay. move you twice but so for you to get back to the group that you were like originally working with okay okay all right let's see i already moved you to one group Nothing. the greatest and offer the voice raise the voice and then when he says um, bells in the world it dropped his voice like maybe to make that difference the greatest is the most important idea of the sentence yeah and maybe when he, when he drops his voice he went is the complement of the, yes, of the exactly. main idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the number five, which word or part of word did the speaker combine with other words or part of words? I think when uh, he mentioned the connections and the, well, in this part, um, I listened uh, and another and another well something like that. I am connected from my cell phone but I think that was not good idea because I have some issues but right now what is the exercise that you are trying to to do can you try to to be a little bit bigger Try to try to Swim listen it. the audio. And yeah, right. That right. Yeah. So right now you are trying to do from the church, right? He's down. I we think that it this is going up, and after that, from Bell in the wall is in Moscow. So when he talks about Moscow. Over here, Moscow, it's going up. Yeah, we oh. we can hear an intonation, right? Yeah, yeah. So right now, I'm just putting when in the intonation is going up and when it's going down. That is do, just doing just like this type of of the same type of 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 uh, arrows. So arrows. yeah using the, that same type of arrows that they do have over here. The only thing that I'm not doing is that this type of union, so. Very good job, Robert, nice. Exercise. Okay. Sorry. Hi, teacher. Hi, you, you guys are doing great. I was checking your arrows there. They look great, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Exercise monasteries. The greatest bell in the world is in Moscow. This famous king of bells. It's in the same simple large bells. Large bells. It's hard. 
Yes. Hi, girls. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hi. We are in the step one exercise. All right. Okay. Um, we are in the second exercise when you have to underline or do arrows. Right. Okay. And for me, it's for technology because I don't know how to. But you know what you can do, Nidia? You can just kind of write on a piece of paper the words that you feel that are going up. Or the okay. ones that are going down, not necessarily do it like like techie way, you know. So it's like you save time that way. You don't, you're not struggling with that. Okay. Right. You okay. can do it that way, no problem. As long as like you're doing it and you're like, you know, you, you have it right, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Are we going to have class tomorrow? Yes, we are. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, teachers were asking the same question today. And mm -hmm. our boss said, why not? <laughs> we're like, well, because we are celebrating. <laughs> but no. Because it's a holiday. <laughs> I know, eh? It's a holiday. But... <laughs> By law. By law, By you law to... you're right. Yeah. yeah you but you know, to, I mean, to... girls, you... if you... If they you will like... be the double. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. You say that. Yeah, I should. But if you feel that you're going, you need to celebrate and, and stuff, I understand. I mean, I need to be here, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I know. Tomorrow's the Father's Day. Nidia, did you go out today? Yeah, you had to, right? I had to go to work. Yes. Yeah. Well, how were the streets? Oh, they were crowded. In, how in were they? Like, wow. Like, like a normal day. Because yeah. Just the cars of the students was out, but it was a really crowd, and we have a lot of work because of the. Well, not all, but the many of the. Uh, the the supporters began to work today, so we have a lot had a lot of work. It was very busy. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't, I'm not really looking forward that they have to go out. <laughs> I'm fine home. <laughs> no, it was hard. Yeah, I don't hard. miss traffic at all. I'm fine. <laughs> yes, yes, the, the traffic looks like, look like a, a normal day. Right. Before yeah. the pandemic. Right, yeah, I imagine. Oh my goodness. All right, well. We are here safe right now, okay? Yes, <laughs> girls thank God. may keep on working. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.
Since the 7th century, large bells have been used in cathedrals, churches and monasteries. The greatest bell in the world is in Moscow. This famous king of bells weighs about 198 tons. The next two... Okay. Is it what you say, Wizemir? We drop the A, Wizemir? Uh, no, I said but. But, okay. It's almost, um, it's combined, combined. Oh, teacher. Hi. Yeah, yes, Freddy, tell me. Uh, well, I, we want to know something. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, any rules that we have to know when is mm -hmm. stressful the part, because for example, in this, ex in this example, mm -hmm. uh, I want uh, I was thinking that when we are uh, mentioned an adjective, the name is stressful, but in this, uh, in this part, the street dancing, the name is not rising. So I don't know. Show me where are you, Freddy, please? Uh, well, in Can you, are you Are you sharing your uh, screen? Yeah. Which exercise are you working on right now? Oh, well, we have in, uh, we are in 16. Sixteen, what do you mean sixteen? Yeah. Indicating a speech pattern. Okay. Okay, let me, let me, hold on. <laughs> on the rising and going down intonation, that's where you are. Yeah. Here. Okay, yes. All right. Oh, no, it's 16. This is 14. Here. We are in 16. Got it. Yeah, okay. Yes. Here. That's where you are. Uh huh. So, what's your question? Sorry. So, there are any rules that we have to know because uh, when in this part, a spectacular parade, uh, the adjective is not rising, just the name, parade. Next example, a uh, masked balls. Mask, but maybe it's the adjective is the not rising. Is in the adjective. It, yeah, the adjective is not rising. It's in the name. Balls. For the next example, it's the same. Mock is not rising. The name ceremonial is rising. But in the next example, a street dancing, dancing is, um, is not rising. So... I don't know that it's a rule. Maybe we have to focus in the vowels. All right, so what you have to, I think, I don't know if I'm understanding you correctly. Can you see what I just did? Yes. I yes. paste, yeah, I pasted the, uh, the answers, let's say. You see that? Can you see that, guys? In WhatsApp, yes. No. All right, hold on. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I just sent it on WhatsApp, but I also, I just had, um, just give me a second here. Hold on, guys. I want to share it. All right. Can you see it now? This is, these are like, let's say these are the answers. Yes. All right. Okay. So this is the same thing I just sent uh, for you on WhatsApp. So you're talking about bells and everything. So here on Moscow, for example, is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Mm. I think the question uh -huh, uh -huh. might be like when to know when you have to raise or when you have to drop. So, all right. I think one of the uh, the ideas or one of the uh, clues that you guys, that we may follow is this. I'm just going to show it to you here. Um, this is like a key, let's say, if you want to like succeed on this, it says a range of, inf can you see what I'm showing you right now, intonation patterns? Yes. All right. So here it says a falling pitch at the end of a sentence signals that the speaker has completed a statement or an idea. So you have to follow if it's an adjective or a noun or whatnot, but also, not only, but also we need to pay attention on 
Is he finishing the sentence? Is he asking a question? What kind of question is he asking? All right, so all those things or those elements combined with if it, it's either an adjective or a noun or a verb, all right, together with that, then you're gonna get, you're gonna get the answers better. You know what I'm saying, Freddy? So it's not yes, only yes. because if it's an adjective, it has to raise, let's say, or it has to drop. It also depends on is he or she finishing her statement? Is he or she asking a question? What kind of question is she asking? All right, oh. so then you need to pay attention to all those details in order for you to understand or to get the right intonation patterns better, if it's going up or if it's going down. I don't know if you follow me on what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes. We are writing when we are continuing uh, talking about it and when we are finally, finalizing. Finalizing, yeah, when you're finishing, uh-huh. According to you, to like what I'm showing to you right now, it says a falling pitch at the end of a sentence signals that the speaker has completed a statement or an idea, all right? So when you hear like, I'm, I'm, I'm invited uh, to Linda's, I'm invited to Linda's party, all right, party falls down kind of thing. So that fin he's finishing the, the, the sentence, all right? Also, when you're asking a WH question, the pattern also falls, like it drops, all right? When you're asking a yes, no question, it rises. So all those things, you need to take all those things into account in order for you to like kind of get the right answers, all right? Now, it's difficult because they don't exaggerate when they are speaking, all right? So they kind of sound flat, all right? But if you pay, pay attention to it, that's why it's very important for, you, for us to like listen again and again and again, because then we kind of like really get their intonation. They are not really emotional when they're speaking, all right? So they kind of sound flat. But if you take, as I said, if you take all these things into account, I think it's gonna be easier for you. So not only if it's an adjective, not only if it's a verb, or an adverb, but also what kind of sentence is it? Is, it, is he or she finishing? Is he or she asking a question? All right? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> I know, Maribel, it's not something that is easy to handle all the time. But that's. So, I think, teacher, I hate. I hate English. I no, hate English. you don't, Marie. You don't hate it. You listen to me, you're smiling. All right, guys, I need to go to one and I have the other class right now. <laughs> Bye. So, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to close anyway. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Nidia. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, I was saying I'm sorry that I, I'm kind of late already for the other class. But I was I just uh, want to share this with you. I was talking to Freddy, Elena and Maribel. When we're talking about intonation patterns going up or going down, we need to take into account different features, not only if it's a verb or if it's an adjective, if it's an adverb, but also the type of sentence it is. Is the speaker finishing a sentence, a statement, is he or she asking a question? What kind of question is he or she speaking, all right? And Maribel said that she hates English. I don't believe her because she says it's very, it's fun, she was smiling anyway, all right? I already mm -hmm. sent the answer, let's say the answers of the intonation uh, pattern thing, all right? So compare what you have with what I sent to you, all right? Uh, let's try to like make a match, all right? Tomorrow, uh, if you did not finish with the, the accents, try to do it by yourself tonight. And then tomorrow we'll keep on talking about pronunciation, but about cohesion, all right? Like making coherent statements and stuff, all right? Guys, I really need to go. I have the other class waiting for me. Bye. Thank you. Much. Thank Bye. you. Bye.